Mexico. I mean, give you guys a room tour. Do you want a room tour? Do you want a room tour? It's not very clean because I had my friend over, so it ain't clean right now. And I'm actually leaving this week. Isn't that crazy? Like, I can't believe that. Like, I feel so at home here. I feel like so at peace. I feel, I feel really happy. I feel free. I feel, yeah, I feel like I could do whatever I want to do. Like, I feel so powerful in this place. So I, let me just show you, let me show you. You see how nervous I am? I'm like moving my earring. Uh, I can do this, I can do this. Okay, you know what? Let me give you guys a room tour. That's the least I could do. I mean, you showed up. You showed up for something. That's the least I could do. So, welcome to... <laughs> welcome to my humble abode. My humble abode. I am in a studio space right now. My kitchen is not inside of my room. It's outside. Um, and it's a shared kitchen. We have like three... Four different ki kitchens in this building one on the rooftop one no three different kitchens in this building one on the rooftop uh, one on the fifth floor and one on the second floor second floor and they're fully stocked so i'm going to go put on my shoes and i'm gonna give you guys what you've been asking for a room tour okay first of all are we going to talk about this glow are we going to talk about that because the skin y'all y'all the skin, the skin, oh my god, the skin, girl, girl, it's skinning, okay, it's giving shea butter, but I don't have any shea butter, they do have a lush here, which is what I've been using for my skin, um, technically, I usually use like shea butter, the white one, the white one, and sometimes when I'm, uh, when my skin isn't so dry, and I'm in a foreign country, I'll mix Nivea lotion with olive oil and my skin will feel so great. But I tried it this time around and it did not work. So I had to go to Lush and I've just been using their moisturizing bars on my skin and rub it directly. So that is how this glow is happening. Let me do what I said I was gonna do. Let me give you, I saw this on TikTok. Like I said, my room is dirty, but let me give y'all back a little bit. Yeah, so they're just like telling you where their outfit's from. So let me go ahead and do that. Hi, my name is Iris, and this dress is from Zara. Period, I don't have no shoes on. I don't have nothing else on, so that's all I can give you is, the dress is from Zara, you know. Ow, ow. Okay. Guys, I'm in my bathroom. And the lighting isn't so great because once I turn this light on, this fan comes on and it drives me crazy. Yeah, annoying. So anyways, this is my bathroom. Uh, like I said, I had my girls over, we're getting ready, so it's not, it's not super clean. Uh, yeah, so my bathroom, I have everything. And I have this mirror right here, which the lighting is always horrible. Yeah, so we have this, and then you turn, you know, I have my closet and my dresses uh, here, and then I have some storage for my food, like uh, freezer, refrigerator, storage, and they usually keep this all in the kitchen, but the housekeeper left this in my, they left this in my room yesterday after they cleaned it, and I was like, okay, thank you for giving my own personal set, but I don't cook much, I eat out a lot, so go in my bed isn't made like I said this is my bed I love it so much you know and then I have my TV here obviously it moves but my TV here and this is my workstation right here I just got off of a meeting before I shot this so and guys I literally I like I said not the cleanest but this is my carry-on bag, my personal item, and this is my carry-on. I am traveling in a personal item and a carry-on, okay? So your girl is moving on up. And then I went to the market today to get some fresh uh, fruits. Today they were not banging, so I'm going to have to throw this out. But usually they're banging. And this is our last night's snacks because we were shooting all day. Um, and yeah, this is my work area. You know, I stay inspired. You know what I'm saying when I'm shooting and stuff. And then this is like 
my drawer that has all of my electronics, which I have a lot that I don't use, but I'm gonna put it to get good use, okay? Let me take my, get my slides and my key and I'll show you guys the rest of this place. And then we'll give you, I will give you a tour. So I have a living space, kind of. So like I said, we have like eight floors and this is, we have everything here. This is the kitchen that I use. And it's fully stocked. So we have pretty much everything you can imagine. So, where are we going to go? Let's go to the rooftop. And then I'll show you guys the rooftop. Hopefully, I'm not disturbing anybody, but who cares? Who cares? I don't know what they call these things, but it's essentially a stove. Yeah, I forgot, induction top, duh, it's right there. So yeah, so we have a kitchen out here. It feels so good, honestly. We have two parts to the rooftop, so I just come and relax. We go to the other side. It smells amazing. And this is the other side of the rooftop. It's so pretty at night. Um, maybe I'll come back and give you guys a night view. We have this barbecue grill, these large bean bags are so comfortable. And uh, the view, maybe this is the front of a space. So there should be a view of this. So this is located. So this building is located in Juarez, Mexico, and well, Mexico City, Juarez. Uh, but I actually really love it. It feels like home, and the place is called Triver. It's a co-working space, and I don't know if I can. See, there you go. It's called Triver. It's a co-working space, and I feel so at home. I feel so at peace. Um, everything. It's kind of like living in a hotel, but you share a kitchen with people. Um, and they have different like suites and they have yoga throughout the week. It's just very peaceful and I feel like this is like how I'd like to live my life. Um, I love being catered to. <laughs> I love nice things. So this place just gives me a little bit of everything and I'm really close to all of the attractions and I walk pretty much everywhere unless I have a casting then I Uber so I can wear my heels. Um, but yeah, like I'm really close to everything. Like I don't need or want anything. There's a Sally's like really close by so I can get my deep conditioner. And yeah, I just, I'm surrounded by so much of the things that I value. So this is why it's been a super safe space for me. And I feel like I can create and I, I don't think I showed you guys, but my one requirement was that I had a, a big window that lets in sunlight because I'm sunlight, I have sunlight sensitivity, so I actually really need it. Um, my mood depends a lot on if I'm getting enough sun or not. So it's just, it checks all the boxes. And so I am sharing this lovely place with you guys in a hopes that if you need a safe space to come through to, um, I can recommend that this is absolutely a safe space and for anybody, for any person from any walk of life, you know? a safe space and it's a nice community so i have shared you my safe space i think that's super important too because i feel like growing up i didn't have a lot of safe spaces um so it's really important and i value it more uh especially in my adulthood because i can you know decide when i'm around i i value safe spaces where i just feel there's 24-hour security guard he's multiple of them they're all super nice and friendly and helpful like you have um, essentially front desk management or staff and 
they're here for most of the day and then you also have um i think they're starting to implement like everyone has to have like background checks to come in i'm not quite sure because um i can give you a link to uh airbnb if they're still running it but i think they are marketing this more um towards long-term stays but i know they are doing short-term stays and they just opened so everything's pretty new uh everything's very nice you know the bed the pillows they thought about everything like the pillows are they have they have options on the bed okay so you have your hard pillow you have your soft pillow you have your medium pillow i just love the attention to detail uh yeah this is just amazing i don't want to ramble but i highly recommend this place this is the best airbnb that i've stayed at um, in mexico city and i have stayed at a lot i may insert all the ones that i stayed in and the crazy things um that i had to go through to find this place so uh yeah i think that'll be kind of fun like what is it like actually traveling maybe that'll be my next video showing you guys because i feel like you only get the highlights you know um instagram tiktok you get highlights and i like that tiktok that you're able to get more in depth and show like the true nature of things but yeah i will show you guys the not so pretty part of being nomadic and uh living in airbnbs and hotels and yeah so i will definitely share that experience with you guys but i can say with all of me that this is a safe space and i hope that if you travel Mexico City that you consider this place because it's amazing and I want to know if you travel if you like it you know so and also did I mention I'm a solo traveler so woman and solo traveler like safe but anywho I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and I know I have told you to like comment and subscribe did you, did you do that hmm did you do that? Oh, I smell tacos. I'm gonna check in next time and see if you did that because it's important, okay?